you just have to install shaders onto Curse Forge. First off, go ahead and create a new mod pack or download your mod pack and choose your game version. For me, I'm going to do 1.20.1 and I'm going to be using the Forge Loader. Now, this will also work on Fabric. First off, before you go into the shaders tab, you need to make sure you have these mods installed. You need to have Embedium downloaded for Forge as well as Oculus. And then for Fabric, you need to make sure you have Sodium as well as Iris shaders and those you can both get off of Modrinth. Then I want you to go ahead and locate the shaders tab which I showed you in the beginning. Click on that and go to add more content and as you can see there are multiple shader selections for you to choose from. I'm going to choose a couple of these different ones and you can just install them and they will then appear in your game's shader section. Now on an already made mod pack and not a custom mod pack as you can see, this is my own mod pack here, Project Automate. But if we go into shaders, I already have shaders installed, but you cannot add your own just from here. This is why we will need to do it manually. If you go onto the Curse Forge website, you can go to Minecraft and then you can click on the categories and you'll see all of these different categories. Once we click on the categories, we can see the shader section right here. We got fancy, realistic and vanilla. Now for this video, I'm going to be using the complementary reimagined. Now, once you find the shaders you'd like, you want to go ahead and click on download and you will then download the file. Once the file is downloaded, go ahead into your mod pack click on the open folder. Once you do open the folder, you want to go ahead and locate the shader packs folder right here. Once you see that folder, you need to go ahead and take the file you have just downloaded and drag it into the folder. Of course, I already have this, so I will not be doing that, but all you need to do is drag and drop into the folder and it should appear in this page. And that's how you download shaders on the Curse Forge.